Alléluia, Alléluia, Alléluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. To make sense of the first reading, the backstory, the relationship between Jacob and Esau is very important. So that if you go back a few chapters, you will see, as we spoke about yesterday, that Esau, the older brother of Jacob, was the firstborn, and it was to him that Isaac's blessing was to go to. But he sold his birthright to his brother for a meal. And so the blessing went to Jacob. And because God had made the promise to Abraham that he would bless him and his descendants, the blessing went from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob, and it was to Jacob's descendants. Interesting little tidbit of information that I read in my Jewish study Bible this morning. You notice that the scripture does not say who Jacob contended with. It only says that it was some sort of angelic divine being. According to Jewish Midrash, and this is the oral tradition, according to Jewish Midrash, this angelic being that Jacob contended with was Esau's patron angel. And it was a sign that the angel was not able to overcome Jacob. It was a sign that the spiritual forces that Israel would have to deal with in the future would never overcome them. So if we to understand in typology, when we look at these scriptural characters, Jesus is the new Jacob. And the church that he's established is the new Israel. And so you notice that Jesus, too, in the gospel, contends with spiritual forces that he overcomes, just as Jacob overcame in the first reading. It's a sign to us that in this life, you and I are going to have to contend with spiritual forces that come against us. We're going to have to wrestle, so to speak. But there is a power in us by virtue of our baptism because the Holy Spirit dwells within us. 
that if we are faithful to the Lord and we follow him, Jesus made that promise that those spiritual forces, the gates of hell themselves, would not prevail.